When I ran for president four years ago, I said we're in a battle for the soul of America. That's why I'm running for re-election. He's going to be 82 uh, when, um, should he be re-elected. And he, uh, if he serves out the entirety of a second term, he'll be closer to 90 than he will be to 80. And this raises lots of concerns, justifiable concerns in my view. Well, he would be setting a record, but uh, records for aging are being set all the time. And I think not everybody has realized that fact that you know, an 80 year old or an 86 year old today, particularly one that's had a history of good health is very, very different than an 80 year or an 86 year old was 50 years ago. They're going to have to rely probably on Kamala Harris quite a bit. They're going to have to rely on, you know, other surrogates that really the next generation of leaders in the in the Democratic Party. And, and I suspect that they're going to want Barack Obama out on the campaign trail as much as possible. But then that doesn't exactly leave uh, a lot of confidence in the actual nominee if if Joe Biden can't generate that kind of excitement without calling in the other younger, more you know charismatic people within the party. One more point on this, though, the front runner on the Republican side is no spring chicken either. Um, if it ends up being Trump, he will be 78, which will be, should he, uh, um, should he win in 2024, he, that would make him the second oldest person to hold the office. I think more generally, the, the thing that the Democratic Party is going to need to do is to figure out how to hand the, the mantle off to a younger generation. And, um, and to the extent that uh, our parties, both parties are struggling to maintain their cohesion and to be a force for good in disciplining our politics. That's going to be increasingly strained to the extent that they're seen as being, um, uh, you know, the party of the very old. I don't think he needs to run. I think he's way too old. I think there needs to be an age limit because I think as you age, your capacities aren't where they should be. I'm excited for him to run. Uh, I think it'll be good. Uh, he's got a proven track record against Trump, who's most likely who it's going to be. Uh, so we're, I'm excited to have him uh, run again, see who uh, potentially goes against him and kind of see what the outcome is. I, I try to be open because I would never tell anyone, you know, as long as they have fight and drive in them to just give up. I, I want you to keep fighting. That's what keeps people alive. That's what keeps people going. So as long as he has that drive and that will, absolutely, just do it. It's either that or like, you know, a march into like a fascist nightmare, <laughs> basically. I mean, I mean, I'm also happy that um, we have someone with so much experience that's willing to do the job, even though really he should just be enjoying his family and his, you know, his grandkids or whatever. But, um, you know, I'm happy he's willing to do this in general. But honestly, I don't know anybody else who's even like up for the task, really. We don't have a whole lot of great choices. Not really. I'd have to think long and hard on that one. I think he's a failure. And if he wasn't in office, this economy wouldn't be messed up. We wouldn't be at war with Ukraine. I mean, the Ukraine wouldn't be at war with Russia. The economy would be better. We'd have more money. This wouldn't be happening. This line wouldn't be happening. And everything else wouldn't be happening. I'm not going to say he's a horrible president, but, I mean, Trump was doing a better job. I haven't seen any. He's just seen somebody the, uh, that's great for the people and then that's good for helping the people, but it's not what the people really need. U.S. President Joe Biden's confirmed that he will be running for re-election in 2024, laying out his argument for why freedom in stark terms.
personal freedom is fundamental to who we are as Americans. But you know, around the country, MAGA extremists are lining up to take on those bedrock freedoms. The president made the announcement in this campaign video, putting an end to any doubt that he'd be the Democrats' flag bearer. The calculated imagery here flips between evoking the civil rights era on one hand and the violence of the January 6th riots at the Capitol on the other. And this is very much a video focused on the culture wars in America. At no point does Biden mention the economy, for example, except in terms of the widening wealth gap. Banning books and telling people who they can love. That's why I'm running for re-election. Because I know America. I know we're good and decent people. Biden's already the oldest president in American history at 80 years old, which he is consistently attacked over by opponents. Trump is 76. The 2024 election is also going to be a very different playing field than 2020 was, where Biden avoided large crowds and political rallies due to the pandemic. The crisis of the pandemic has also largely subsided, returning political debates to more traditional subjects like the economy or social issues. There's nothing, simply nothing we cannot do if we do it. A recent Reuters Ipsos poll puts Biden's approval rating at 39%. Vice President Harris will remain his running mate.